in this setup here I carry a small fur rod. Can you see it? Hi there and good morning. How are you doing? It's a wonderful, uh, I think it's Thursday actually, here in southeastern Norway and I have something to show you. Now, <clears throat> I always carry a knife out in the woods and lately I have been carrying this knife. It's, um, it's the TBS uh, Arma Puko. It's a prototype, but I'm not going to talk about the knife itself. I am going to talk about my hidden ferro rod. Because I also, in this setup here, I carry a small ferro rod. Can you see it? It's here. I'll show you. Okay, so of course you attach this to your belt in a normal fashion like here um, and it came without a ferro rod so I thought I would fit a ferro rod that is hidden you know can you see it <laughs> now you can see it it's here here it is so what I did was I just made a couple of holes and there this small ferro rod came with two holes um, and uh, with some uh, string I attached the ferro rod to the end of this leather piece here. Um, it's a small ferro rod and it's not going to be as effective as a larger one but but it's it stays hidden and uh, I don't see a point in hiding the fur rod but it's hang on it's very lightweight and it's um, yeah I like it I like this setup now um, so let's see if we can uh, get a fire started using this tiny fur rod so you need to have high quality tinder when you have such a small ferro rod. So I prefer to use a mix of uh, a mixture of uh, birch bark and uh, spruce pitch. Um, I find that works best. So that's all for now, uh, just a quick video for you today and it's, um, you might want to call it a bushcraft hack. I haven't seen this setup before. So um, kindly um, refer to this channel if you want to use this uh, setup or uh, name it after my channel, please. So, <laughs> or do whatever you like, okay. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.